Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about remove your personal information from the National Public Data website right now. If you recall, the National Public Data website was responsible for one of the largest data breaches ever with over a billion names leaked onto the dark web. This information included such important, I'm about to say information again, but such important data as names, addresses, social security numbers, you name it, it was responsible for a major data leak. Now they shut down and secured the website, but now they're under new ownership and they're really not taking any precautions as to protecting your data. So you need to go to this site immediately and remove your data. Give you a little bit more background on national, about national public data. It's like a bunch of people websites out there and I will go through those in detail. But the whole idea of these sites is to make money by gathering information about you by any means necessary. And with AI, their job is made a lot easier because AI bots are able to scan the internet, internet and do things such as data scraping from different websites to retrieve information about you. So if a website has any info on you, these websites can scrape that data and add it to their own collective, which is why it's important that you remove your information important or very quickly. Now, before we talk about steps to remove yourself from the national public data site and others, be sure to like, comment, and share this video with any of your people who want everyday computer tips designed to help you get more from the technology you use at home and at work. Now, let's take a look at the website. So just in case you haven't seen it, here is the National Public Data website. And as you can see, you can visit it at nationalpublicdata.com, but it's a free people search engine that allows you to put a name, a city and state, and do a search about you. Now they say every search is confidential, and that's true, and it is confidential, but again, the way they get the information isn't all that great. So the website is broken up into different ways how you can access different databases. And going back to the website, you can go to databases and uh, let me go back. I didn't want to click on that. I wanted to click here and uh, I keep clicking on database. So let's just, I keep clicking on database. Why do I do that? So let's just do the drop down. But as you can see from the drop down menu, Bankruptcy Search, Canadian People Finder, Consumer Profile, The Death Index, Email Search, Marriage and Divorce Data, People Finder, Terrorist Watch List, Telephone Search, Voter Search, Background Checks, Cell Phones, Criminal Records, Doctor Check, FAA Pilots and Planes, People at Work, Profile Reports, Sex Offenders, and Vehicle and Boat Ownership. It's all there. Now, the challenge with some of these sites is that their job is to collect data. Doesn't mean that that data is always verified. Sometimes data is cobbled together and it makes it seem like it's legit, but a lot of times it isn't because there's billions and billions of records to go through in order to make sure that that data is complete. And sites like these sometimes rely on AI to cobble that information together. Now, the big question is, is how do you opt out of a website like the people search site. Now the unfortunate thing that you have to do on the people search site is do a search for yourself. So I'm not gonna go through the steps, but I'm going to put in, just to give you an example, first name, last name, you can put city and state, and then you can do search. And when you do that, it will create a website of a profile or profiles of you that the website has created. Now. Once you get that information, uh, what you need to do is this. Visit another website. How do you like that, right? Let me pull that website up so that you can take a look at it. And the website in question is nationalpublicdata.com forward slash uh, uh, opt out 
www.nasa.gov.html. So let's go to that site. So visiting that site, it'll give you the National Public Data Opt-out site. So it gives you the steps of what you need to do and we'll highlight it. So again, find your personal information on the nationalpublicdata.com website. Once you do your search and it brings it up, copy the URL, which is the section up here, the website information that's brought up, and then uh, click the Removal Request button. So as you can see, you can put your profile link there. It'll say People, John Smith, et cetera, et cetera. That's the information that it will bring up right there. You paste it in this profile link and you hit Request Removal and that will start the process of your information from being removed from the National Public Data website. Now the challenge is, is that National Public Data, even though you opt out, hope you will probably have to check the website every now and then just to verify that they haven't slapped your information back on there. But unfortunately, that's not the only people search website that you have to worry about. There are a host of other sites that you need to worry about in order to make sure that you can keep your digital ID out of the prying eyes of anybody. And we're going to go through some of those sites that you need to watch out for and you can remove your personal data. So let's, let me bring these up. I've got to agree on some of these, but yeah, let's go through the list and give a quick disclaimer. So first there's Checkmate. This is a checkmate, simple, use lots of information. So like people search, you enter your first name, last name, city, and then you can do locations, do all states, you can say it's me, or you're searching for somebody else. So the site's verified by instant check mark. And as you can see, there are a lot of people searching and it's counting. The counter goes up as far as the amount of people searching. Next on our list is white pages. Remember this thick book that used to show up at your doorstep? Good old white pages. You can find people, contact information, and insider real estate intel trusted by tens of millions. You can do a people search by putting your first name and last name like John Snow, and then your city and address and a quick search or bring up any details about you. Next on our list as far as people search sites is Peak You. Peak You. Yeah, peak you, peak everyone else. So fast people search made easy. Now I will say that some of these sites are free. A lot of them will cost you extra money to get more details and that's how they make their money. All you do is fill out your information and peak you will bring up that important data that you're looking for. Next on our list is check people. Check people. Yes, people search service. These are some of the popular sites out here. First name, last name. Obviously this URL or website knows that I'm in the good old state of Missouri. So it's already got it there. I'm kind of curious to see what state will pull up if you visit this website. You can create an account or you can just go ahead and put in your search and find out the information that you need about whoever you're doing a search for. Uh, there's another one, been verified. This one's pretty popular, but again, Everyday information connection or company. Information company, people, vehicle, property, contact information, first name, last name, search. It brings up everything and it will search state and federal court records. Doesn't mean it has access to the federal court system, just means that it can access that data. That's a pretty interesting, isn't it? Makes you like, oh, it's just got the details in there. Next on our list is a website called Intelligis. Intelligis, same deal. Put your information in and it'll find it out. How do you like that? Next on our list, it seems like there is so much to go through as far as these, as far as these people, people websites. Next is Spokio. Let's show Spokio. Same deal, different website, put in your information and it will pull up for you. You can always log in and set up an account as well. We've got a couple of more to go through. There's a ton of people search websites. There's Checker, Checker. Streamline your hiring process with the most accurate background checks. 
good for employers who want to do background checks. Maybe you don't want to be included on this website because your information may be there. And then I think we've got one more. Last one. Have we done this one? I don't know, but let's show it again. Truth Finder. Search billions of public records, social media photos, public police records, you name it. Much, much more. And that is the dangerous thing about some of these websites is that not only are they going to different websites, they're also searching social media sites. Not going to get into it in this video, but I will say this, that if you want to remove yourself from these people search sites, the best way to do it is to go to the about section in each of these websites that I mentioned and look for how do I remove myself from this site. And as far as social media, a lot of information that these people search sites look for is social media. So you probably need to go in and modify your social media settings so that sites outside of social media aren't able to view the content that you put on your social media platforms. Run out of time for that for this video, but I think there is a video showing how to do that on my YouTube channel. So check it out. So anyway, if you've got comments or questions about national public data or any other people search website, leave your comments in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you, help you out. And before I mention, or before I forget, there are websites such as Delete Me. Let me show you real, that real quick. You can pay someone to delete your information from the internet. And I need to bring that up and show that. I can't type worth the darn today, but let's go with DeleteMe.com. Paid service, your personal data. Delete Me will actually do the legwork for you. You protect yourself, protect your business, and log in, and it will allow you to delete yourself off of the internet. And they even have a DIY opt-out guide that you can go through to find out how to delete yourself from public websites. So with that said, with every video, I my job is to help you open up yourself to a whole new world of ideas and experiences when it comes to your technology. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.